Hi, in this NetSuite demonstration, we're going to show you the custom bundle built by SCS Cloud to handle consolidated invoicing. Currently in NetSuite, there's not a great way to handle consolidated invoicing, so at SCS Cloud, what we did is build a custom bundle that's very scalable and flexible to handle customers with these requirements. I'm going to walk you through what we have today, and certainly there's lots of customizations that can be done on top of this, but I want to show you the basics just to get you started. So first and foremost, what we have here in our transactions list is our consolidated customer invoices. So this is actually a custom record that we've built inside NetSuite. So you can see here that we have the consolidated customer invoices and ultimately what we can see is all of our customers and the number of invoices that they have with us that are open. So for example, this first customer here actually has six invoices with us. And what we can do is if we click this consolidate button and hit submit, it would actually create a custom record for the consolidated invoice that would show all the particular, all the individual invoices consolidated into one. Now, if we don't want to consolidate all six of these invoices for this customer, we also have the ability to choose which individual invoices we'd like to consolidate. So up here in my main filters, what I can do is put in that customer's name, choose my ability to display their individual invoices, and then by running a search here, what it's going to do is show me just that customer and just their six invoices. So now what I have are the six invoices for this particular customer. So at the end of the day, if I say, look, I want to consolidate these three, then I could choose those three and hit submit. Now, both methods of consolidating all the invoices or select invoices that I've shown you is a manual process. This can also be automated. So if you need business rules to say when to consolidate invoices, if it's all a customer's invoices each month, or some other type of criteria, then that business logic can be built into NetSuite to create the automation to do this process for you. But for the purposes of this demo, let's just keep it manual and keep walking through this. So again, let's just consolidate just these three. We looked at this customer. And of course, we can also control these filters if it's other filters you need that makes it easier for you to navigate through your invoices. So I'm going to hit submit and it's going to create this custom record for us. So I can go ahead and click on this record type. And what I can see here is that it's pending creating our custom record for the consolidated invoice. So let's go ahead and refresh our view. Okay, now that's been completed. So what I want to do is open up the record. So again, like any form in NetSuite, if you want this to look and feel differently, that's totally possible. But I can see that I've been issued a consolidated invoice number. I can see information about when it was created or modified. I can see what invoices make up this consolidated invoice. And of course, like a regular invoice, I can have PDF um, templates for however I need this to ultimately be sent to a customer if I'm going to send it through email or, or other methods. And this template can be modified. If you want a consolidation of, of the invoices at a high level on page one and then the details on page two or three, great, that can be done. And, and there's really no limit to how you customize these invoice templates uh, from a PDF perspective. I can still email this as well. So if I want to have this email out to a customer, I can set up business rules, whether it's business rules to help with the Dunnings or collections process or just reminder emails, etc. I can see that the subtotal of the, of the amount is summed across those three invoices as well. And that's really what the contents of this, this consolidated invoice includes. Now, when I accept payment on this invoice, what's going to happen is it's going to use the native accept payment functionality in NetSuite um, to receive those funds. So automatically it pulls in the customer name, right? And when I scroll down, it's going to auto apply the amount outstanding to the consolidated invoice 
and then I can go ahead and check the ones that it should apply to. Now if I apply this in full, that consolidated invoice would then be received in full. The individual invoices would be paid in full and it would certainly close that out. But I could also take discounts or receive payments partially and leave that consolidated or individual invoices open. So again, the standard process here for uh, applying payments to that consolidated invoice. Other things to note are that when you want to look at your AR aging, you can look at it from a number of different ways. You could still look at just AR aging at the individual invoice level. You could also look at AR aging at the consolidated invoice level or a combination of the two. So here, for example, I can see I've consolidated invoice one, two, three. It actually makes up only one invoice, right, for $13,000, where here I have 10 invoices that make up the consolidated invoice of $393,000. So from an AR aging perspective, we can still get you exactly what you need, whether it's consolidated, individual, or both. And that concludes our consolidated invoicing demo. Should you have further questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.